How's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel and my video of the Cheerson CX-20 Auto Pathfinder Open Source Quadcopter with GPS and ready to fly. It has an advertised distance of 300 meters as well as an altitude distance of 300 meters. The motors on the CX-20 is the same as the DJI Phantom 1 and 2. Uh, the CX-20, however, has a 2,700 milliamp 3S LiPo battery uh, with a flight time of 15 minutes and a charging time of two hours. Uh, this quadcopter has a lot of good functions such as altitude hold, GPS hold, and auto return to home in which itself lands itself to the takeoff position as well as the headless mode but most importantly it has a fail safe auto return and land mode when communication between the transmitter and the quadcopter is disconnected it also has the low voltage protection where in the first level the LED will blink red and make a beep 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 sound and in the second level it will simply auto land itself uh, now I'm not sure if it lands itself in exactly that same spot where you took off or it just lands itself when the voltage is low in that spot where the voltage is low so I haven't tested that out but um, I'm pretty sure that it will land itself in the spot when the voltage is low not to the takeoff spot Okay, the LED indicators. This LED indicator will flicker red and yellow uh, when in calibration mode for the compass and the gyros. Uh, this LED will blink green uh, until six uh, satellites are acquired, then it'll turn solid green. Uh, and when this light turns red and it's blinking, uh, the motors are locked. And when you unlock the motors, um, it will turn solid red. The LEDs on the bottom of the arms are red in the front and green in the back. It also comes with the um, GoPro mount but uh, it does not fit the Xiaomi eCam because the Xiaomi eCam is slightly bigger than a GoPro. So what I did was I purchased one of these Xiaomi eCam mounts in which it has a GoPro mount as well, so I just interchanged these uh, pieces and I was able to use the um, Xiaomi eCam in my video captures. A word of caution, uh, when using cameras like these with the, um, the Wi-Fi functionality, uh, do not use the Wi-Fi function on the camera when flying this quadcopter. It will interfere with the quadcopter's receiver. The remote control takes four AA batteries and it has the auxiliary one knob as well as the auxiliary two knob. This can be configured uh, from the quadcopter's underbelly where there are auxiliary ports um, down there as you can see. You can hook up the gimbal or um, whatnot and use this knob to uh, pitch the gimbal's uh, tilt as well as the uh, roll of the uh, the gimbal as well on the auxiliary tube. It has the SWB uh, switch here and the SWA switch here in which there are myriad of functions right here written so you don't get confused. Uh, you want to flicker both of them to the zero for manual takeoff mode and GPS hold will be zero here and one here so if you flicker this switch to one and leave this one on zero it will do a GPS hold and the orientation uh, is one and one which is the headless mode and the altitude hold is one and two and it will do an altitude hold mode there and to do a return to home zero here and two here will bring the quadcopter back to the takeoff position uh, trim buttons here as well as the power button here and some LED indicators telling you you are in the regular mode and whatnot um, and that's about it for the transmitter
there are a couple of things um, you need to do before taking off in a new area. You will have to calibrate the gyros as well as calibrate the compass on this quadcopter. So let's take it outside and do a test flight on this. Okay, let's calibrate the gyros. So we're going to power this baby on and very quickly going to turn on the transmitter and throttle stick bottom to the right and we will wait for the lights get a red light supposed to uh, flash uh, yellow and red there you go now we're ready to calibrate it so go ahead and close that door Okay, just hover for a little bit. And the remote control is beeping. I don't know why. Okay, I think that about does it. I'll bring it back in. Okay, so what they want us to do now is to lock the motors and power the baby off and now it's been calibrated. Okay, let's calibrate the compass. So power it on and on to the right on the pitch stick and the red and yellow lights flash again. Okay, now what we're going to do is pick up the quadcopter and circle around four to five times. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then point it down. One, two, three, four and five okay thoroughly dizzy now but the lights uh, don't indicate that you are finished or anything so what you need to do now is to put it down and unplug it okay that calibrates the compass okay now I'm ready to fly let's give this thing a test flight so power it on, let it calibrate, the green and red lights, okay I got satellite already, the red light will flash, turn on my remote control, okay, now unlock the motors. This takes a while. Okay. Okay, now I'm unlocked. The uh, quadcopter is uh, ready to go. And let's go. Okay, hover's pretty good. 
Okay. There's the yaw. Okay, and that's the full pitch. It doesn't do any flips or anything. It's mainly a camera drone. The pitch angle isn't that great, but when it makes that turn, man, it exaggerates it right after it, huh? Like so. Okay, let's test out the GPS hold. GPS hold is zero on this side and one on this side. Okay, so I just gotta click it down one. Let's try it out. Okay, GPS hold. Okay, it's on GPS hold. And it's staying pretty good. It's moving and moving and hovering around a little bit. But all in all, I don't have to touch anything on the controller. Okay, so that works pretty good. Okay, let's try orientation hold. So that would be the headless mode. Okay, now I got headless mode. Okay, I'm pushing it forward and I'm pulling it backwards while spinning. Okay, so the headless mode works good. Okay, so now let's go back to manual mode. Oh, altitude hold is one and two. So let's try the altitude hold real quick. Altitude hold. So even if I'm decreasing my throttle, it is holding steady. Yep. And I'm giving it more throttle, and it's not increasing altitude. Awesome. Okay, let me get it out and go to manual mode. All right. Let's bring it back in. Okay, now return to home is two and zero. Okay, two and zero. Let's try that out. Hopefully I got enough battery power for this. Return to home. Okay. It rises up a little bit, comes back. Okay, are you going to overshoot it? Okay, this is around where I took off initially. Okay, readjusting itself, I guess. There you go. Pretty good. And the motors shut off too. Or do they? Okay, so go back to manual. Ho 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 ho. The throttle was a little up. Oh, return to home works good too. 
give yourself a spin job. Really cool, man. <laughs>